Hi, welcome back to OpenGL Model View Transformations tutorial. In this tutorial, we will see visual C++ configuration in order to use OpenGL library with GLUT and GLU libraries. What is GLUT? GLUT is the OpenGL Utility Toolkit, a Windows system independent toolkit for writing OpenGL programs. It implements a simple, small, and easy to use windowing API for OpenGL. GLUT is designed for constructing small to medium sized OpenGL programs, but for large applications requiring sophisticated user interfaces, it's better to use native Windows system toolkits. OK, let's start with GLUT and GLU download. OK, we need to visit the following URL. In order to download the free GLUT library using the following link. For GLU library, we need to visit the following URL in order to download the binaries using this link. After the download, it's important to define the location of the GLUT and GLU files. In my case, I have defined the folder freeglut3002 and glu210, but you can choose the folder you want, it's not important. So, at this point, we need to open the archives downloaded previously and extract the desired files in our folders. Let's start with freeglut. And now glue. Okay, now we are ready for the visual C configuration. Ok, let's start with the solution project. We choose console application and we choose a name for this application. We choose an empty project and we click on the finish button. We have to need the wizard and OK. We have our project. Ok, now we are ready for the visual C++ configuration in order to use uh, GLUT and GLU library. Let's open the properties window and uh, in the bugging section we need to add the path variable for environment. So, let's start with free GLUT 64 architecture path. And we do the same thing for GLU library.
and then apply. In the visual in the visual C++ directories, we need to define the include directory path and the library directory path for free glute and glue library. Let's start with free glute. We go on for blue. And now the library part. Okay, we go on and we need to configure the linker. Let's start with the general section. In this section we need to edit the additional library directories. We have to add the library directory for free glute and glue library. Let's start again with free glute part. Okay, the final step is to add the free glute library and glue library in the additional dependencies. Okay. Now let's go to realize the main C++ file for the application. In the source files, we choose add new item C++ file. We continue using include directive for glute and glue library. We want to use iostream. And now we want to define the main method.
We need to initialize glute using the glute init method. Glute init uh, will initialize the glute library and negotiate a session, a session with the Windows system. During this process, glute init may cause the termination of the glute program with an error message to the user if glute cannot be properly initialized. Now we have to set the initial display mode using the glute init display mode method. We will see further on the meaning of these constants. For now, we want only to make a test for the configuration that we did previously. And uh, the initial display mode uh, is used when creating top level windows sub windows and overlays to determine the OpenGL display mode for the to be created window or overlay. In order to create a top level window, we need to call the glute create window method. And uh, now we need also to define the display callback for the current window. Uh, when a window is created, no display callback exists for the window. It's, uh, it is uh, the responsibility of the programmer to install a display callback for the window before the window is shown. A display callback must be registered for any window that is shown. If a window becomes displayed without a display callback being registered, a fatal error occurs. So, we will use the glue display function method. And we need to define the callback function. For now, the callback function will do nothing. Now we need to initialize the glue library. We use the glue init function. We have to check if the initialization is correct without error. So, 
if view okay is different to error we will show an error message Otherwise, the initialization is correct. Ok, we complete the main method using the glut main loop function. So, we are ready to build the application. Ok, now we are ready to test the application with the bug start without debugging. Ok, Grew is initialized with success and we can see our first OpenGL window. Of course, it's blank, it's white. We don't have any contents. But for now, is uh, that's all. We will uh, see again in the next tutorial for complete the GLUT program with other function and uh, for draw the first uh, triangles in uh, OpenGL world. See you soon in the next video and thanks for watching.